Hello and welcome everybody, I'm the Game Pro, and I'm here to show you the best way to get Curse Flames in Terraria. So, um, really, this, I'm not getting, I'm not, I won't be getting, uh, cur actual Curse Flames in this video, but I'm showing you how to get them, as in, the best, um, the easiest way to spread the biome without, um, buying the Clintaminator and, uh, Purple Solution, because... That's that's a so uh, you go to the weapons section right here. And to make it to make five unholy water, you need one bottled water, one Ibid sand, and one corrupt seed. So I got ninety. And I'm gonna go underground. Nice area look for a nice area to spread it. Spread the corruption. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna make a follow-up video to this in a few days after it's spread around in my world. So that I can show you, um, how this gets, uh, cursed flames. As in, like, the material, not the, not the book. Just to clarify th that for you. If, you, if you're looking for uh, how to get cursed flames, as in the ch enchanted book, then you should check out my uh, vid my video on that. Pretty hard, pretty hard to miss. It's got a well, cursed flames on the thumbnail, so it should be pretty obvious. So to spread it, all you got to do is toss this bottle around like that, and it turns regular stone into well, uh, Evanstone. And, uh, yeah. So, you, you guys don't actually have to watch the rest of this video because it's just gonna be me, uh, walking around spreading corruption. But if you want to, you can. I'd, uh, appreciate some viewing minutes. Be nice. So, as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to, um, switch out my celestial stone with my moon shell, but with little success those first few tries. <laughs> that was kind of funny and frustrating. But, yeah. This is all you have to do to spread it. Just walk around throwing unholy bottles of water. Spreading the corruption. I'm not really sure how that works, but I don't really care, because in the end, it will get me cursed flames. Now, once, once again, as I said before, I will be making a follow-up video to this, so this is how to spread the corruption in the easiest way. And, um, well, you could just place corrupt seeds on the surface, but that would take a lot longer, so I'm, I'm calling this one the easiest way, because it's actually... A little bit more productive than just placing corrupt seeds in dirt. But, yeah. Just throw in bottles of water. Unholy water at that. Special unholy water. All around the place. This can also be done with holy water to spread the hollowed easier, a little bit better. So, uh, you can't use holy, unholy water, of course, you just use whole, you would just use plain old holy water. Sorry about that hiccup there. Um, yeah. around throwing bottles
right there, as you can see, I accidentally threw three at a time for some reason. But, not a good idea. Don't waste your stuff like that. Only use it if you, if you, uh, sh if you have to. I didn't have to, but it was either a glitch with my tapping, or, um, like, or I tapped it three times and didn't realize it, but it's probably just a glitch. Try to avoid that as much as possible. Another great thing about corruption, also, is that things like, um, like, uh, gems, they stick out like a sore thumb because they don't change their, like, color, they're, they're meant to blend in with plain old stone, but with the ebon stone, it's complete, it's purple, so it's not the same, same thing with crimson, so if you're looking for gems, go into a crimson biome, and you shouldn't be able to, um, and you should be able to pretty well, pretty easily find, um, like, topaz and diamonds and rubies and sapphires and amethysts and whatnot. There's probably a few other things that I can't think of at the moment, but it doesn't really matter, so. Uh, you guys get the idea. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up today's video, and if you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button, and if you really enjoyed it, please be sure to subscribe. See you later, folks.